Hello, good evening. Union leaders and politicians have pledged to do all they can to save jobs after the Mitchell Entire Company announced it's to close its factory in Dundee. The decision was delivered to the plant's 850 workers this morning. It's being described as a body blow to the city. Michelin says it's been hit by the import of low-cost tyres from Asia. Andrew Anderson reports. Workers arriving this morning at Michelin. On a normal day, they'd have been clocking on for the day shift. This was not a normal day, and they knew it. News of Michelin's plans to close the Dundee factory had leaked overnight. The details given officially to workers at a meeting lasting just a few minutes. Then the exodus began. Production suspended until Thursday. Workers were angry. Some were bemused and, in their own words, gutted. We, we had an idea that something was going to happen, but no, as, no as bad as this. Really. Cause we've had a few bad times here, but we never thought we'd get this like this. Well, what we got told in September is that things were happening, there might be changing shifts, something like that. There might be, there was a reduction in headcount, maybe voluntary redundancies, nothing like this. No. Michelin's been making tyres in Dundee since the early 70s. It's the city's biggest industrial employer with 850 staff on the books. The company's invested tens of millions of pounds in recent years, but it says it's struggling to compete with low-cost imports from Asia and it's simply not viable to invest more money in Dundee. I've looked at the business case. It's, it's going to be difficult for anyone to find a way through this in terms of continuing to manufacture tyres in Dundee. The scale of the problem is just so big. Michelin says it will offer support to everyone facing redundancy. The UK government says there are a range of measures that could be used to try to mitigate the effects of the closure. This sprawling factory brings in something like £45 million a year to the Dundee economy. Its closure will have ramifications not only for the workers here, but for other businesses in Dundee and beyond. The Finance Secretary met management and unions at the factory today. Back at Holyrood, Derek Mackay was asked what could be done to save jobs. And they have agreed to consider a proposition that we will bring forward to secure a sustainable future for the plant. I can confirm I will be convening an action group to explore all options to develop that proposition and secure a future for the plant and its highly skilled workforce. The total of 350 million pledged for the Tay Cities deal will now not touch the sides, especially as investments will go to other parts of the region. Does he think more money can be found for Dundee? But tonight it looks certain that after nearly half a century, Michelin is waving goodbye to Scotland. Andrew Anderson, reporting Scotland, Dundee. The Michelin plant has been making tyres in Dundee for almost half a century, so its closure would mark the end of an era for a city which was built on manufacturing. Our business correspondent David Henderson looks now at how Dundee might cope with such a major change. It's a hammer blow for any city anywhere, the loss of its biggest industrial employer, and with it, hundreds of jobs. It's especially tough for Dundee, a city which seemed to have turned a corner. Just weeks ago, the V&A was opened, transforming the waterfront and, it seemed, Dundee's fortunes. Today, one of the city's most famous sons, the Hollywood actor Brian Cox, told us Dundee will cope with its latest setback. I've always thought that Dundee is not the city of discovery, but the city of survival, uh, because it has survived so much and it keeps on going. I'm just very proud of the city because it just, it has the ability to bounce back at the most. I mean, it's been through the Timex crisis, the NCR crisis, the, 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 the loss of the jute industry. Those big firms, Timex and NCR, were once mainstays of Dundee's economy. And along with Michelin, they were known here as the cash. But it's 25 years since Timex closed its plant after a bitter dispute and NCR too has made huge cutbacks. One of Dundee's leading business figures told me the jobs of the future will be very different. They'll be in, um, in new industries like additive manufacturing and 3D printing is having a big impact on, on the manufacturing industry. And there will be in the creative industries and in tourism. And what we've got to do is let people see that their skills match some of these new sectors.
there's concern for the young apprentices who train at Michelin. 60 of them study at Dundee and Angus College. Their future is now at risk. And other students here worry about where it leaves them. It's not great for Dundee because it's, Michelin's been known for years as a big employer here and to see them jobs go, it's going to... affect the economy in Dundee for larger than just, just them jobs. It's going to affect everybody, isn't it? So it's not great. If that's shutting down, we're going to get more a surge of engineers want a job. Ken's it's going to be rough to get a job here. Unemployment's been a problem here, and another big employer, the health service, is also looking to cut jobs. But there's big investment in Dundee Harbour, which could bring new work from the offshore industry and opportunities. Now they're needed. David Henderson reporting.